Hi guys and welcome back to Civilization 6 as Egypt. So it's been a couple of days actually since we had our last session on Civilization 6. I'm a little busy on something else that I'm working on. It's related to the Football Manager Challenge that I covered a little bit <clears throat> excuse me, on the channel previously and there'll be another update coming really really soon probably maybe just before this video comes out maybe just after this video comes out but that'll explain what I've been working on and why the sort of frequency of the content on the channel has dropped and I want that to, to go back up soon I'll be getting what I'm working on out of the way probably in this next week uh, unless it goes really well then it'll extend to the beginning of me but that a bit cryptic just now but there will be an update video on that coming soon but let's get right into it here so we are playing as Egypt, we have our capital over here, second city up here, and we've just found our third city down here, which is going to be our sort of military base, if you will, our front line for attacking Brazil if we choose to do that, or certainly a defensive choke point, because Brazil can't really come from up here because it you know, it stops there, there's no more land access around here, you'd have to go into the water past the cliffs and it's kind of a messy situation, or you'd have to go through Toronto, or you'd have to come down here. So. We're trying to get that set up, as well as provide a forward base if we choose to do that. Got a swordsman down here and we have one of our chariot archers. Uh, we also are going to use this to get the iron, so that's something we want to do. Uh, as of right now, we can, we've can we just acquired, as you see down here, an increased, increased trade route capacity. So we want to be trading with Memphis to get some production. As you can tell, it's going to take 75 turns just to build ancient walls. So we really have to be speeding that up. So what I'm going to do is take the capital, stop producing the market, and we're going to go into production on a trader. So that trader is going to be stationed in Memphis and will trade back to the capital. And it should get quite a bit of... Uh, production from that relative to what it, what it already has. So that Bredarian 4, we're about to finish our granary up here in our second city. So Brazil currently doesn't actually like us, which is pretty typical of AI in the early game, I find. So we're about to grow in Memphis. Uh, our scout is sort of chilling down here in case Brazil gets any ideas about attacking us. Let's move in a little bit. We'll just keep scouting that area. That chariot archer likewise can just chill down there. So we now have five turns to be go to pop three. So we're doing really, really well in terms of getting it to grow faster, which I really want. I also want the production though. So what are we building up here in our second city? We are going to build, it's actually a good question what we're going to build. We are going to build a district of some kind, I believe. What will that district be though? Um, We have a commercial hub down in our capital. I think... Uh, the crab is a bonus, right? Yeah, as are the fish. So we don't have any, uh, as is the cattle, as is the rice, as are the bananas. So we actually don't have any more luxury resources around other than the elephants. So what I think I'll do is actually go for an entertainment complex. And I think I will stick said entertainment complex um, on a tile that I don't really care about. Do we have any wonders, actually? The Colosseum, what's that? Must be built on flat land adjacent to entertainment complex. Uh, and it can also provide amenities to our capital, but it won't reach as far as Memphis. So we can plonk it. We can put the entertainment complex here, and we can put the Coliseum here. And we would get the benefit in both of these places. So let's just go for that there. We'll buy this tile, and we'll plonk the entertainment complex there. So that'll be good for amenities for the capital and for Swinette. And Memphis continues to build that wall, which is going to take uh, like 400 years at current current levels. So let's see what we can do when we get that trader on the go. Uh, well, I'm actually just going to put the scout on alert just now, similar with the chariot archer, so I don't have to keep skipping turn every go. Not really much to address. We can actually motor through a couple of turns just now, let everything do its business. And when we get that trader set up, hopefully we'll see a bit of a rocket in Memphis's progress. We can get our entertainment com entertainment complex, our encampment district set up soon. We can get a builder, hopefully, and improve quite a lot of stuff down here. So we have a mine that could be set up here, 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 and maybe a farm somewhere. So we can certainly do that.
it isn't the best location in the history of the world. We could do some farms on the marshes if we buy some of those tiles which will boost the growth. But the growth's pretty good. We've got... Oh, we've unlocked engineering. Um, yeah, we've got five surplus food, so we don't really need more food at the moment. Uh, what we're going to do is transfer him to Memphis. So he'll be working out of Memphis and bringing in... Um, production to Memphis. So we also want to get the apprenticeship on the go because I want Memphis to have uh, an encampment district and I want Memphis to have the industrial zone. Now, I think what we're going to do is get back to the market so we can boost ourselves uh, some gold for our economy. We can build things quicker later on in the game. We could also go for a water mill to increase our growth. But we're at 8 out of 10 housing capacity just now, so maybe not want to go down that route. We have a camp as a holy site already. Yeah, let's go for a market just now. Five turns to we get that. Certainly worth it. Now, Memphis is... Oh, oh dear. Okay. You I don't like. Let's try and be nice to him at the minute. Alright, I don't like him. I don't like the fact that we've met him. I don't like the fact that he's close. Or, close enough to have met us at least. He's a pain in the ass. He's generally good with science and he's militaristic. So, in other words, he'll get ahead of you technologically and then he's not afraid to attack you. It's not a mix that I enjoy facing. So, what are we going to do in terms of trade routes? <clears throat> I think we're probably going to trade with Hong Kong. It's a short trade route. It's completely within our field division, so we don't have to worry about barbarians or anything intercepting us. We're also going to get seven gold as well as two production. If I trade with my capital, I only get one gold, two production, three food, but I don't really need food. So I think I will trade with Hong Kong for the two production. And walls which take 70 turns are now going to take, I bet it drops to like 63, it's now going to take 24. It's better. It's not massively better, but it's better. And we also need a builder now. Can I actually just buy a builder? I think I should be able to. No, purchase an item. Yeah, purchase a builder. Lovely. Excellent stuff. And because we have the pyramids wonder, our builder is going to get four charges, so we can improve quite a hell of a lot of stuff. Brazil has progressed from the medieval era to the renaissance era in 175 BC. <laughs> okay. I thought we had a good start. Maybe I was wrong. Let's get the iron first and foremost. Uh, we can send an envoy. Um, pfft, really matter where we go. We'll go to Toronto. Why not? So what did we get from Toronto? Regional effects from industrial zone and entertainment complex reach three tiles farther. Meh. Giant meh. But we do have them as an ally now, so if Brazil gets any ideas, Toronto will provide that sort of curtain that I talked about before. 17 turns now for the ancient walls, so that's not too bad. Can I actually rush it? Yeah, I can get it in 14. What does that affect? Affect science? doesn't affect gold, it affects culture and science. Um, let's, let's just leave it just now, I suppose. I guess we're working. Uh, let's have a look. Where are we? What are we working? Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. We'll be working the mine soon, so that'll boost us up. Okay, let's continue. I'm kind of just trying to focus on what we're doing just now, trying to ignore everybody else because we are kind of lagging on all those sort of official looking charts if you like but I think we're getting ourselves set up nicely. We are going to be able to catch up to the AI I think just by doing what we do. So they actually have a scout on a ship and that's how they've seen us. So if we look at the world rankings we are last in everything apart from domination where we were second last. So, religious, I don't really care. Science is a problem. 20 science per turn compared to Sumeria's 52. So we're miles behind. Absolutely miles behind. And he has 10 more techs than we do. 
The only thing is that's somewhat misleading because he could have ten easy texts like sailing or something like that, whereas we have something like like we're going to have apprenticeship, which he might not have. So it's kind of misleading looking at the world rankings too much. Just as long as it's going well for us, I think we can rely on it ultimately turning out well for us as well. We're doing well. We're taking some nice areas just now. I'd like maybe to expand up in this direction as well. The only thing is it might piss off Brazil quite a bit. But we'll deal with that when we get there. So we can build a mine there. That's good and it gives us some iron. We have two iron now because we're getting iron from Hong Kong as well. As they are our ally. So about to grow again. Second city. And 15 turns down in Memphis is going to drop I think because of our extra production from the mine. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's down to 11. Excellent stuff. Uh, what about this tundra tile here? One food, one production. Let's see if we can put a... maybe, maybe I will put a sphinx there. Right, now the capital. The capital indeed. Um, hmm. It is quite difficult, I think. I don't really know what we need to do. A monument might be alright for culture. Yeah, let's catch up a bit on the old culture. We're about to get defensive tactics. Plus 100% production towards defensive buildings might be decent to take just now. And it will speed that up. Should pretty much cut it in half. Let's see if we can afford to get that. Yeah, we'll take out the stupid barbarian thing. And we will get plus 100% production towards defensive buildings, of which ancient walls I assume count. Yeah, there you go, 10 becomes 5. Lovely, that's speeding us up quite a bit. The builder can get one culture, one faith for this sphinx, so I'm going to plonk one of them down there. Are we working that? No, not currently. Uh, can we work it? Maybe not yet. Maybe it's worth waiting till we get another citizen available to work it. Two turns to be grow. Um, theology. I don't know. Religion's kind of got away from us again. Military tradition. Yeah, against flanking bonuses to units. Take that, I suppose, just now. Two turns to the capital grows and produces a monument. We're up to seven population in our second city, and we're about to be up to four in the third city. So the third city's coming along well. Brazil's got a fair bit of units lurking down here in Natal. I think it's probably going to be more fortified down here than anywhere else because it's kind of its most forward city. I'm tempted to attack it but we'll wait we'll wait a little while just now. So I can get a mine here which I think is probably going to be a good idea to help with production. I could put a sphinx here. In fact, I will put a sphinx here, and then we'll put a what? Maybe put, try and get a wonder there. I don't know if we'll be able to, but we might try. We get production bonuses for wonder on rivers, of course. Yeah, fine, whatever. Different governments, sweet. Sumeria has been targeted for declaration war by the Aztecs, who I have not met yet. I wouldn't mind if the Aztecs put a bit of a dent in him. He already uh, is unfriendly towards us. Spectacular. Um, I don't think we have anything we really want just now. Um, nah, I don't think we do. I don't think we do. We need to get producing wonders though for this wildcard policy to be worth something. Right, civics. Civics, civics, civics. Okie doke. Um, anything worthwhile? What about guilds? Two cultural rainforest tiles, of which I don't have any. Alright. 
what about you? Plus four faith grants two apostles. Hmm. Alright, so there's not really any wonders we can get here. And more religious space wonders. But naval tradition gets us an envoy. Military training. Let's go for military training. Yields from pillaging are doubled, which is decent. And production towards encampment districts. Alright, so we'll want to have that for Memphis, which is now growing at a slower rate. Uh, the builder can plonk down a sphinx, which we'll do just now. And of course we have another trader. We are going to transfer that trader also to Memphis and then get another production boost. Uh, we have a housing issue in Memphis, although we clearly don't. Oh no, we do. Four out of five. That's why its growth is slowed. Okay. So we'll get probably a granary on the go there next. Do I build the Great Library? Boost to all ancient and classical era technologies must be built in flatland adjacent to campus with library. Plus two, uh, plus one great scientist points. And plus two science. Where can it go? It can go here. How long? 18 turns. Hmm, I don't know. Well, what would I build if I wasn't building that? I'm kind of limited in options here, unless I go for one of the projects. Um, large amount of gold and great merchant points. Uh, gold might be decent. Um, campus research grants might be decent. Gold or tough, 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 tough. Let's go for gold. Screw it. Memphis needs more housing, which I'll be addressing in a moment. So let's see. We're at plus twenty-three point two. So let's see how much gold we get from it. Uh, plus twenty-three point two and four hundred and thirty-nine currently. So we'll see how much gold we can get out of that one. Um. Again. So, uh, our another our second trader here. Um, let's see. Toronto or Rakadet? We can now get three food, but without the, mm, I'd rather get the gold. We're actually at plus twenty nine point seven now, so it puts us up by quite a bit. Those uh, the commercial hub thing. What is it called? Commercial Hub Investment. Alright, so we're going to go with Toronto. We're out at plus 37. We're going to take one turn to build the ancient walls, so we're coming along quite a bit. Our builder, what is our builder going to make? I think we'll go make the mine over here now. Which I maybe could have done last turn and speeded things up a bit. But let's have a look at what we're going to do now that we're about to finish the ancient walls. Quite a lot of city-state troops moving around. Mm, and the builder can finish that mine. Yeah, which he will. Let's finish the mine. So, we kind of need a granary because we need the plus two housing. I think that's what I want to do just now. Take seven turns. Or if I focus on production, it's going to take still seven turns. Okay, let's take seven turns, I guess. We'll get a granary on the go, which gets us more housing, and then we can focus on that encampment. And we can actually get plus 30% production towards encampment districts. I think that's the route we're going to go. So that'll be the plan for next time. We've done a little bit here. Moved a couple of things along. We're building up that economy quite nicely. We're, Memphis is starting to take shape. That's our project just now. Those two, you know, the second city and the capital, kind of taking care of themselves. We've got some iron. We've got our guys posted down here, so we should be pretty well defended. No immediate plans to be attacking Brazil, but maybe we we'll want to go that way. After we get an encampment, we can start churning out units. We have a massive surplus in gold here, so we can certainly think about building some more units. And our... 
Where are we? Our Chari Archer with the 33 range strength is hella powerful at this point in the game. An Archer uh, has 25, so we're quite far ahead of an Archer. And if we can get a couple of uh, units of Chari Archers, we might be able to take down a city with uh, 22 defences. But that's for the next episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one and you come back next time. And I think it's going pretty well regardless of what the world ranking says. So hope you come back as I say and I will see you next time.